to your weekly inspiration with me, your host, Tanya Melendez. So today is May 12th, 2014. We are in a full moon week. So of course, you know what cards I'm using. First off, the Ascended Masters will be our mantra and our beloved Goddess Guidance cards will be our message as well as our tarot message. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and take it to prayer. Breathing in good, breathing in grace, breathing in gratitude, knowing this divine and perfect moment is divine and perfect. So I bless our week, calling it good, calling it great, calling it divinely guided, blessed, guarded, protected, guided, and provided. I speak a special word for the mothers, Mother's Day. I also speak a, a word of blessing for peace and harmony in all areas, in all uh, continents, in all people. So I just release any fear, doubt, and worry, knowing that all is in divine and perfect harmony, happiness, and health. So I bless our beloved world leaders. I bless our beloved oceans. I bless our air. I bless it all, calling it good. And as I bless our beloved Mother Earth, I bless all the mothers. And as I bless this, I bless us. I bless our body temples, our minds, our bodies, our spirits, knowing that we are divinely guided. We are healed. We are happy. We are whole and we are complete. So in this blessing, I bless our organs, our skin, our cells, all of who we are. I bless our our homes and where we dwell. I bless our cars and what we use as transportation. I bless all of our relationships, our family, our friends, our beloved pets and animals. I bless our work, our career, our life purpose. I bless it all, calling it so fantastic, calling it fabulous, calling it a miracle knowing that each and every one of us is here at this divine and perfect time for a divine and perfect reason. And so I just say yes to the expansion of who and what we are. I say yes to the possibilities, to the passion, to the purpose, and to the place that we are right here, right now, knowing that right where we are is right where we're supposed to be. So I let it go knowing all is surrendered, all is healed, all is blessed, all is good, all is well, all is prosperous, all is healthy, all is whole, and all is complete. I let it be and so it is yay I was totally feeling that prayer the full moon has got me so inspired and so excited I've got so many wonderful things I'm working on right now getting my inspiration for my beloved children's book um, my programs everything is just coming up roses and so I can't wait to of course share it all with you and I am so grateful to be here in the beautiful Miami area you know it's construction city I wanted to take you outside but you know there's lots of construction going on so there's lots of noise out there so hopefully soon I will be able to take you outside and you can see the beautiful view and the beautiful air and see the beautiful ocean because every time I look at the ocean I am aware of the abundant possibilities and the abundant, you know, probabilities and just the abundance that is in and around each and every one of us. So let's see, the Ascended Masters have spoken and the card we get, which is amazingly, amazingly good. And I know that this is speaking directly for me because every time before I do a video, I ask, I know I'm not just guiding for myself, I am guiding for every person listening and every person who watches this video. So it's Krishna. Find the blessing in your current situation. Okay, so here we go. We know that this is a divine and perfect message. And then I just, something told me to pick this, or the second card, and we got Nurture Yourself. It's Mother Mary, and I know this is speaking directly for me, because here I am, again, where I've been before, and I had to allow myself to really understand why I'm here again, why I have to, you know, come back here. First of all, I'm happy here. I'm so happy to be next to the ocean, to see the ocean, to smell the ocean, to taste the ocean, all of it. I absolutely love it. And so I had to get my ego out of the way and say, you know what, if this is where I'm happy, then this is where I should allow myself to really surrender and step into what I'm here to do. And then also, you know, with the traveling, 
you know, traveling is ex beautiful, it's expansive, and it's great for my spirit, for my soul, and knowing that I'm working and helping and guiding and healing people around the world. However, it can be also very draining, and, you know, the ocean fills me up, so I have to get and allow myself to be filled up so I can then share it with you. So that is what I'm feeling here. All right, and so here we go. First card with the goddess is Rihanna and Sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So I am manifesting. I know you're manifesting, and of course, you know, this is the full moon time, so that's how we got her. And so trust that you are your own inner sorceress. You are able to manifest and bring to yourself exactly what you need right now. Trust this. Believe in this. You know my mantra, dream, believe, manifest. That is the Tanya Izzo. And then we get sacred space. Again, I know this is speaking directly to me. And it's create an altar or visit a power place to connect to the divine. This is about your place. Where is your place? And again, like I said, traveling is great for me. But at the same time, the ocean rejuvenates me. The ocean feeds my spirit. Again, I'm a Cancer and I'm a Leo. So the water, the ocean is where I recharge. And so I really, really, really love seeing that beautiful blue ocean every morning. And then we get this beautiful card. Don't back down. Bridget, stand up for what you believe is right. So again, don't let other people tell you who and what you are. Trust and know that you are being guided. You are being provided. You are guarded and protected in all ways, not in some ways, always. We live in the abundance of the overflow. All your needs are met with grace and ease. Those are some of the wonderful things that I say to myself every single day. Get in the habit of having a mantra. Get in the habit of having words and affirmations and mantras that you say over and over and over a thousand, ten thousand times a day because what you think about, you bring about. So I'm all about you know, manifesting miracles, manifesting magic, and manifesting all possibilities in my life. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay. All right. And here we go. So the first card we get is the Seven of Pentacles. You know, seven is a very magical number for me. My birthday is in July. And so I love that I got this card or that we got this card. And Pentacles represent value and worth. Where are you putting your energy? Again, look at what you've planted. Look at what you've got in front of you. Allow yourself to be open to receive. Again, this is very important. Allow yourself to open and breathe and receive from your heart space, not from your head space, not from your hand. Allow yourself to believe and receive from right here. I'm going to also start connecting you, my viewers and listeners, with my Into You Intuitive Tap Touch technique. It's something I've been working on for years, and now I'm going to be debuting it very, very soon. So... Breathe, receive right here. Okay, and then we get the Ace of Cups. So yes, your cup is full. If you believe your cup is full, then it's full. If you believe it's empty, then it's empty. Again, as you believe, you receive. So allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to accept, and allow yourself to receive. Remember, because as you receive, you also give. So again, Ace of Cups, Ace represents yes, a positive, very positive. And then Cups, your emotions, your feelings. Fill your cup so you can fill others. This is also like the nurture yourself. If you can't nurture yourself, you cannot nurture others, okay? And this also goes very good with the Bridget card that we got. Don't back down. And then we get the Three of Rods. You know, Rods represent fire and spirit. What is your spirit saying? And again, look at here. He's on a journey. He's looking from the shore. What is coming to him? And he's allowing himself to have the ships come in. Let your ships come in. Let your time be now. And again, being patient is preparation for your manifestation. That's again, one of my favorite Tanyaisms. Patience is preparation for your manifestation. This is the time. Make sure this week you set your intentions. You go out there in the full moon energy, look at the moon, dance in the moon, feel the energy, allow your inner sorceress or sorcerer to come out. Allow yourself to manifest your miracles. This is a magical and special time. Allow yourself to be in the place again of 
believing and receiving as well as allowing yourself to set these intentions for the things that you want, not what you do not want. Again, what you believe you will receive, what you dream you must believe in and then you will manifest. Remember, patience is preparation for your manifestation. We are all in this together. And so I really wanna leave you with just so much powerful information and love and light. Again, this week with this full moon energy, it's a wonderful time to bring to yourself those things that you want, not material things, spiritual things. You know, spiritual work is not easy. It's not for the weak. It's not for the, you know, you can't expect an instant answer. I've been on a spiritual path now for over 10 years and I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still changing. I'm still shifting. I'm still healing. I'm still forgiving. And if I'm still doing that, as well as all the other spiritual teachers and gurus that are out there, then so are you. Don't be so hard on yourself. Remember, nurture yourself. Find the blessing in your current situation. Allow yourself to believe, and then you will receive. Again, nothing out there is going to make you happy. It always has to start here. One of my favorite ways of starting my day is the happy song by Pharrell Williams. Remember, if you're happy, you create a wave of happiness, you radiate happiness, and happiness comes back to you 10 times. So with that, I just want you to know you are so loved, you are so blessed, and I am so grateful to be a servant and to be of service to you every single week with these videos. I am so grateful again for all the wonderful energy that I receive, all the great comments and you know love that I receive from doing these videos. I am blessed and as I am blessed, so are you. So until next week, everybody, peace and blessings.